So personally, I think there hasn't been enough creativity in my videos, so we're gonna add a little bit of storylines to these things, or at least here and there. One thing about me, I love coffee. aspect of cinematography. I love creating scenes that feel like you were there. And I feel like with the daily uploads and everything, I'm proud of myself for doing it, but I also haven't been adding my own taste to them, which doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing that, but I think I'm going to incorporate more of my own style into them. And I think just adding my own perspectives and my own kind of way of thinking about things into these videos is just what I've always needed to do and what I've been needing to do for a while now. Because I feel like my cinematic side has really been doled down by the aspect of creativity and really just not following my own mind because I don't want to put the effort into the shots. And I think I'm finally at a point where I'm just like, who fucking cares? I'm gonna just make and who, just who cares? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. And I think a lot of creatives go through the same thing because it's not necessarily the effort they want to put in, it's more so the comparison that comes along with those efforts. It's the judgment, and it's a judgment behind social media that I feel like takes away from a lot of creatives and just doing things that aren't necessarily normal. And I really think that takes a toll, especially on me, because I worry so much about being like everybody else and doing these things, not necessarily being just like everybody else, but kind of matching people's energies, matching pe people's workflows, trying to follow trends, this, this, and that. And I think that's going to be the downfall of originality in creating content. But I also think that it's going to come to a point where everyone's just going to be so fucking fed up with the whole aspect of following trends and whatnot that it's all just going to fall through. So just know if you're a creative and you're kind of in a spot where you're stuck in between following trends, following other people, and kind of just not being yourself, just take a step back. Stop creating for a little bit because you're probably burnt out for a reason. And that reason is because we're so off track with creating our own art that it's not even art anymore. It's more so just something that we're trying to do to impress other people. And that's where you need to realize it's time to just stop for a little bit. It's time to really go back into your own mind and realize you wanna create this thing for yourself. You wanna create something that's original for you. So consciously make the effort to step back and just go all in at your own mind. Make the efforts to really open your mind up and realize that this whole, I was gonna say content creation, but now it's hard to say that because I want it to be art. I want my own things to be art to me. I don't want it to be content creation. I wanna create things that matter to me as well as maybe can inspire others to do the same. So if you take anything out of this video, just please step back. Please look inward and stop looking outward to the world because the world is only going to provide you with everything everyone wants. And sometimes that's not what you need. Sometimes you need your own path. Sometimes you need your own benefactor of reality to really realize that it's okay to be living the life you're living. It's okay to want to create the ideas you want to create. So embrace the beauty beautiful things that you want to be and just create for you. Stop creating for the world. Trends are only gonna die out. Art is forever. So remember that. 